Just make a little unrehearsed and informal video showing my Camp Notch, Pennsylvania colony and the little homemade setup I made out of uh, oak. I had the red cover over them so I didn't harass them too much. Took it off for the video. Anyhow, here's the watering method. It's a length of test or length of poly tube capped on one end, and another cap goes in through the uh, side of the nest here. And I have a few pinholes poked in that. So I just fill this up with water and it just lightly seeps down in this chamber. And that is actually where the queen is. You can see her down in there, right in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I didn't, didn't make it out of anti-glare glass, so it's kind of hard to see her. Uh, this colony's three years old. I do have majors. Majors actually showed up in the second year. Uh, where's the maid? Let's see if I can find some majors. There's some medians. I have to look over the camera instead of looking through the viewfinder. It's easier. There's a major right there. Folks, yep, you see the big head on it. Actually, there are two majors. That's a big, big one right there in the middle of the screen. Look at the jaw spread. Wow. And the nest is roughly five inches by five inches. That's her little food chamber. I don't think that's her garbage chamber. They have uh, been taking the garbage to the outworld. And they put it underneath a uh, piece of rock I got up there. But I did have to make a little slight nest expansion with this little piece of uh, oak I carved out. And they uh, they took to it pretty well and hang out in there. I'd assume the colony's probably around, I don't know, I haven't counted lately, 250, maybe 300 ants. So it's grown pretty good. And they definitely love heat. Anything below 75 by uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, brood egg production slows way down. But once they get up to 78 to 82 degrees, oh, wow. That little queen just turns into a machine, egg-laying machine. All right, I've got other colonies here. And here's a Camp Mountain, Pennsylvania's queen with... Two workers and some brood. She was not doing good in her uh, test tube, so took her out, made it to a cork nest. She has not ripped her wings off yet. See the eggs sitting in front of her. And she is a very, very, very observant queen. She'll fall around. There's one worker behind her on the wall. But yeah, she, uh, she refuses to pull her wings off, which that's all right. Literally, this nest here is just uh, four sheets of quarter-inch oak uh, board. It's held in there by friction. You can see there's some light up there in the top of the chamber, so it's not fully sealed. I just put a little bit of water here in the corner, let it seep down every few days, and it's usually working great. So, that's those colonies for right now. Yes, I have this thing here. This is one of my tetramorium colonies. It's just a tub with a test tube set up in it. And let's get the light over here. This colony is only in its second year. As you can see, there's a lot of ants in there. Let me uh, let me give a little bit of breath in there. Oh yeah, no, I really got them agitated. Workers are going crazy. They are definitely my most uh, voracious and active ants. It's comical because they're so small. Get my finger in there and they latch right onto it, trying to bite and sting the best they can. Let's see here. I usually don't like to harass them, but yeah, they think they're tough. They think they're tough. Of course, I won't focus now. I can't even feel them. If I wasn't looking at them, I wouldn't even know there's ants on my finger. <laughs> All right, well, stop the video now because they're hard to get off. I got to flick the back side of my finger. 
So I need to use my other hand. All right. Hope you enjoyed that.